Was Jesus an alien? Was Jesus gay? Uh, was he someone from the future or the past? Or who is Jesus? Well, we're um, in uh, this little section in um, Mark chapter 6. It's the sort of preamble um, before uh, a story that's already happened about Herod killing John the Baptist. But there's some few sentences here I want us to think about. So we're in Mark chapter 6 and verse 14. King Herod heard about this, for Jesus' name had become well known. Some were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are working in him. Others said, he is Elijah, and still others claimed he is a prophet, like one of the prophets of long ago. But when Herod heard this, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised from the dead. So here's people uh, talking about Jesus, and they're coming out with all kinds of views, as there are today. I mean, there's all kinds of views, isn't there? Um, absolutely countless number of views of who Jesus is, mm. and most of them ridiculous. Uh, yeah. But even the ones that we see in here, we, we see in society today, and even in some religions. So, you know, in Islam, it, it, Jesus is just a prophet. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So they honour him, but yeah. only to the point that he's yeah. a human prophet. They yeah. don't honour him to what he says he is. No. Or you, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a sort of a classic one growing up, but it was sort of, I believe that Jesus was a good person, but he wasn't who he said he was. Or, I mean, I, I remember working in the school and, and I even had that Jesus was a creep. A and creep? Was, yeah, it was a right. creepy bloke. And I was like, oh, right. but based on nothing. Yes. And I think that's often the issue. I mean, so obviously he's well known. Yeah. And he's, he, he's gained some familiarity but with that. People don't actually want to know what he was about. No. And they just make up assumptions. Well, and, and also people put words in his mouth. Yeah. Which which is libel, yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, if I say Rory Kinnaird said yeah. and then say something you didn't say, yes. it's 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 at least annoying yeah. for you. Because I didn't say that. I never said that. Yeah. You put words in my mouth. Yeah. And people are always doing this with Jesus, aren't they? They think they know him and they think they can say... Jesus would say, Jesus, you know, all that sort of stuff, isn't it? Yeah. And also, it's not even just putting words into his mouth, but, but you know, it's also taking his words and totally twisting them to mean something completely different. Yeah. So, oh, isn't, well, didn't Jesus say we should love one another? Oh, well, that means that I can have sexual relations with whoever I want. Or Yeah, and you should love. Yeah, love yeah because Jesus has got, or, yeah. or, or doesn't Jesus want us all to be happy? Yeah. Well, uh, and so that means I should do whatever I want you know, yes. to make me happy. Yeah. Well, well, no, actually, well, Jesus is the Jesus that also said, like, don't, don't do wrong things. Yes, and we've just seen that part of the preaching of the of of the apostles when they were sent out was to say to people to repent, mm. which of course is loving. Yeah, the loving thing to do to a child that's playing with a with a knife. Yeah, is to say stop playing with the knife, mm. repent of that. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus does love people, but he loves them enough to say, no, that's not the way to live. That's wrong. You need to repent. I think, um, I mean, here you've got, I mean, so you get all of those things. Jesus is a, a you know, is a homosexual yeah. because he didn't get married. Or you've got the Dan Brown little mm. sort of fiction book that he picked up from so-called theologians that said that Jesus was um, married to Mary Magdalene and had children or wasn't married to Mary Magdalene uh, <laughs> and didn't have children. Yeah. You know, that it's just making things up. And uh, what we need to do is to say, hold it, what are the facts? Mm. What, what does he claim about himself? Now, he might be wrong or I may disagree with him or not like it, but what did he say? Mm. And here, I mean, I find it quite funny because some of them are saying, and Herod is, is saying, is this John the Baptist come back from the yeah. dead? Well, they're not even listening to John the Baptist because mm. John the Baptist said, it's not all about me. Mm. It's a, I am not the Messiah, he said. And he pointed away from himself, didn't he? And yeah. he said, Jesus is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Yeah. Look at him, not me. I'm just a voice yeah. in the wilderness crying out, look at him. I must become uh, less and he must become greater. It's that, mm. that stuff. So even if you listen to John the Baptist, you would be turning away from thinking Jesus was John the Baptist. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I think that's, uh, it's really interesting in our, and I think this is 
even here and now, there is a willingness to believe the spectacular with no evidence attached to it yeah. and with no investigation to the claims. Um, so people absolutely love a conspiracy theory. Yeah. Um, but actually, if you want to find out truth and you want to find out the, the, what's real, yeah. then you must come to yes. the actual claims of both, as you say, John the Baptist, but also the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Yeah. And these are the eyewitnesses. Yes. This is why you need to read the Gospels. Yes. Because I don't want to hear what you think Jesus is. Mm. I want to go to those that were there yeah. and were eyewitnesses and say what they, they, they saw Jesus as yeah. and what he said about himself. So who do you think Jesus is? Mm. Who, do, who do you think he is? Is he just a prophet? Is he just... Well, sorry, we don't... You, when I ask that question, who do you say Jesus is... Stop thinking of Aunt Fanny's view of Jesus or your teacher's view. Mm. Who do you, well considered, looked at the original documents, say Jesus is? Because mm. he claims to be the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Mm. The good news uh, that we really need to hear.